Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Badu. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I cleared my skin in a short space of time with professional help, okay? Because I was just tired of doing it on my own and not getting anywhere. So I will be sharing my skincare routine that my dermatologist prescribed to me. And yes, my skin is not perfect. But it's definitely getting there. I still have a few more months left of my acne treatment. But so far, I'm loving the results. And I just thought that I should share my little skincare journey with you guys. And hopefully just motivate you guys to seek professional help as well. get into my actual skin routine i just want to speak about a few things so i've always had very nice skin like i've never had a problem with my skin but in around 2019 i started messing up my own skin babies have very nice skin why do they have nice skin because they don't do too much like they just wash with normal soap maybe like a dove or sunlight soap and they apply either vaseline or epimax and that works for them and growing up that is all that i was using on my face but in around 2019 you know people started doing skincare routine using facial scrubs and masks and toners and all of that and I just wanted to be like all the other kids okay so I decided to start um, doing skincare even though I didn't need to do skincare because me using simple natural things was actually really working very well for me so in around 2019 I started using facial masks scrubs steaming my face using toners you know all those unnecessary things that I really didn't need so from there on my skin started giving me problems but it wasn't bad like I just have like unnecessary breakouts but I also think it's because I was clogging my skin a lot you know with all these different products and all of that 2020 came and my skin became worse like literally it became so bad I don't know what went wrong but I ended up using a Yes Plus, which is an oral contraceptive, to clear up my skin because there were a few people that I knew that were using Yes Plus for their skin and it was working very well for them. So I'm just like, ah, oh, let me try this Yes Plus as well. And I went on it and it did clear up my skin. My skin was popping, child. But the first few months of me being on Yes Plus, so the first three months, it was hell. Okay, I was breaking out. I had those pink um, pimples that were very sore and inflamed, you know, hormonal acne basically. And then after the third month, my skin started popping, child, I was glowing. I didn't have to wear any makeup, nothing, like my skin was just glowing. I literally wasn't doing anything to my skin, just taking my Yes Plus every single day and that's all. I didn't even have skin routine because the pearls were working very well for my skin. After the seventh month of me being on Yes Plus, I started experiencing um, severe headaches, so I'd say migraines, and my legs would feel very, very, very heavy, and just like bad side effects, so I started to stop the Yes Plus, but the first mistake I did was stopping just like in the middle, you know, like I didn't finish my pulse for that month, I just stopped at around the third or the fourth pull, and I didn't like continue, I didn't finish my course, so to say, so if you are ever on like a contraceptive or anything like that, and you have bad side effects, please consult with your, like your GP or your doctor or something, so that they can give you the best advice, but they usually tell you to finish like the month's um, worth of pills and then you'll stop it so i just stopped in the middle like i wasn't even halfway through my pills i just stopped okay so that's the first mistake i made so after i went off the yes plus i started experiencing something called post pill acne so i started having like hormonal acne because i wasn't on the yes plus anymore which was actually controlling my acne you know what i mean so i started experiencing post pull acne and yeah after that thing just started going downhill i had lots of breakouts all the time dark spots all over my forehead all over my cheeks i'm not a pimple popper like i've never had dark spots in my life because i've always known that i should not be popping my pimples okay so the fact that i had dark spots from pimples that i did not pop that was really telling me that mm -mm, girl something is not right so in july 2020 that's when i stopped taking the yes bus and maybe a month or two after not taking the yes bus i started experiencing that um, post pill acne and i just went on like that um, with my acne until this year but this year i must say in around february it just became unbearable for me like i couldn't take it anymore my confidence was 
not like you know where it used to be because obviously if my skin's not nice i'm not gonna feel good so i told myself that okay I, it's time for me to seek professional help because when my skin was nice i ruined it by doing all these unnecessary things and then i also self-diagnosed myself and put myself on yes plus which is another mistake i made so clearly me taking care of my own skin is not working let me just go and seek professional help i'm just gonna put it out there seeking professional help is costly okay so i told myself that i want to work on my skin during winter so that when it's summer my skin is popping and i don't need to wear any makeup i just put on sunscreen lip gloss pop on some lashes and i'm good to go so from february i started saving money like actively putting away money for a dermatologist consultation as well as my treatment afterwards so from february up until july i was actually putting away money like 300 rand every month until I knew okay I'm fine if I get an appointment in a few days time I can afford to go late June I called around I actually called different dermatologists you know just to find out about the pricing and stuff and the first three dermatologists that I called they were a bit out of my budget okay I was just not willing to spend more than 600 rand for a consultation and the one dermatologist that I spoke to he said that the first visit is a thousand rand because he needs to take your blood and blah 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 after the first visit you're going to see him every three months and then you're only going to pay 450 and for me that was expensive because i was thinking i have to go spend 1000 rand just to talk to this man and then he's going to give me a prescription which is probably going to be another thousand rand so 2000 rand in one day is too much for me and then i called another one and he was fully booked until like very late in august and i couldn't wait so long because i wanted my skin to be clear by summer or springtime you know so then the third dermatologist i called is the one i went with her prices were very fair for me so when you consult with her you only pay 570 rand or let me say her prices start from 570 rand but if she needs to do more on your skin so let's say if you go and consult with her and then she actually ends up extracting your pimples and stuff like that then you will pay more than 570 rand but it won't be too too expensive it will probably go up until 8.50 so I was like okay that is something that's in my price range so I'm going to go to her and then I booked I got my appointment for the 5th of July and child let me tell you I was very excited 5th of July came and I went to see her obviously when you go to a dermatologist you must not wear any makeup if you are wearing makeup they're going to give you wipes to remove it you know and all of that one thing I must tell you guys if you go to the dermatologist please wear underwear okay because you're going to have to take off all of your clothes so that your dermatologist can inspect your skin naturally i am not an underwear person particularly bras i don't wear bras because my breasts are very small and i doubt i'll ever find like a bra size for my boobs you know so i don't wear bras okay so when i got there um she told me like okay take off all your clothes stay in your bra and your panty and go and stand there and i'm like oh i'm not wearing a bra and like okay take off all your clothes and only stay in your panty so that's what i'm saying please wear underwear when you go to a dermatologist so i took off everything and i was just standing there and she started inspecting my skin so she like started with my body she was looking at my hands in between my fingers my arms my legs my back my booty my chest literally every part of my body she inspected and then she came to my face i still had to keep on my mask because of course covered 19 but she first started like on my forehead she was like touching my skin you know looking into it and she even took out her little microscope not a little microscope a big microscope and she was just like looking at my skin you know examining it and then when we came to this area she let me keep the mask on like i only took off one side and then I had to hold the other side so she would look on this side of my face and then we do that to the other side as well and after she inspected me I had to get dressed and she went to her laptop and started typing in things then she told me that okay girl you have hormonal acne and one thing that tells me that you have hormonal acne is the fact that you have all these dark spots and you say that you don't pop your pimples so that is a clear indication of hormonal acne and I also had a lot of white heads on my forehead so she said that that's another form of hormonal acne also if you break out along your jawline and your forehead that is a sign of hormonal acne so it was clear i had hormonal acne i kind of knew that i had hormonal acne but i would have never gotten the right treatment for it had i continued treating myself you know if i didn't seek professional help i wasn't gonna get the right treatment for my hormonal acne so yes she prescribed the things for my skin condition so with that being said um 
I'm going to tell you guys what she gave me, but what she gave me might not work for you because you are not experiencing hormonal acne or you don't have my skin type, you know what I mean? So most of the products she gave me also is for people with normal to oily skin. But let's say if you have dry skin, this won't work on you, you know what I mean? That's why it's important to actually go and consult and let them give you the products that are best for your skin problem and your skin type. So just to get into the treatment, First things first, she put me on antibiotics for three months. So this is the antibiotics that she put me on. It's called Tetralysol. And how this works is I take it every single morning on an empty stomach. It targets like bacteria causing acne from within. So it works with my immune system and inside internally. Okay, so that's what it does. So she put me on this for three months. It's September now. I've been on it since the 5th of July. So this is my last box. I'll be finishing with it on the 5th of October. And so far, um, I'm having very good results. Of course, my skin is not completely clear, but I'm loving the results so far. And I know that it's just going to get better. I still have some time left for me to take this treatment. So probably by the time I'm done, my skin will be looking better than what it's looking today. But it's already way better than what it was at the beginning. And for washing my face, she prescribed Cetaphil, um, Gentle Skin Cleanser, but this I only use at night. And then for my dark spots, she prescribed Epidio Gel or Epidio Gel. I do not know how you pronounce it, but this has been helping with my scarring and my dark spots. And some Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. So that is that. And I'm just going to show you guys my skincare routine. So I have a different skincare routine for the nighttime and for the morning. So I'm first going to start off with my nighttime skincare routine. So before I start off with my skincare, I just need to ensure that my hands are clean. So I'm going to give them a good wash. Now that my hands are clean, I'm going to proceed with my actual nighttime skincare routine. So to wash my face at night, I use my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This cleanser, unlike others, is not very soapy, so it actually feels like I'm washing my face with lotion. But apparently this is good for you and it doesn't clog your pores, so you have nothing to worry about. So yeah, I'm just washing my face. So now that I've lathered the cleanser into my skin, I'm just going to proceed with rinsing my face. So towels and face cloths tend to carry a lot of bacteria because of the material so it's always better to either let your face air dry or use a paper towel but I don't have paper towels so if I'm in a hurry I'll just use tissue. Now that my face is dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Epidio or Epidio Gel. So Epidio Gel helps with the appearance of dark marks or acne scarring. So that you only apply at night because it's very harsh. So it can cause irritation or redness or even dryness. The first few days of me using this gel, it really used to irritate my skin. But now that I'm used to it, it doesn't anymore. So with this, you don't need to apply a lot of it. You just apply a bit of it onto the affected areas, so where your dark spots are. So that will be my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin. I also apply some of it onto my nose because I do have pimples on my nose. But not all the time, and then you must avoid your eye area. I'm supposed to let the Epidio gel sit into my skin for about 30 minutes and then apply some Cetaphil because like I said earlier on, the Epidio gel does cause irritation and dryness but I don't apply the Cetaphil because my skin does not get dry and when I apply the Cetaphil, sometimes when I wake up the next morning, my skin will be oily. So whether or not I apply it, my skin still feels fine. I only apply it when I feel like it's necessary. My morning skincare routine is very quick and simple. So the first thing I do is take my antibiotics on an empty stomach. So preferably one hour before breakfast. But unfortunately I cannot wait that long because I'm always in a hurry in the morning. Then I'm going to wash my hands and then just wash my face. Only using plain water, no soap, nothing. I don't know why but that's what my dermatologist recommended. So I rinse or wash my face with water before I take a shower. After my shower, I apply my sunscreen. So right now I'm using Derm Opal simply because I got it a very long time ago. So I just want to finish it first. Once it's done, I will move over to my Eucerin sunscreen. So my dermatologist recommended the Cetaphil sunscreen, but I really don't like the Cetaphil sunscreen. So an alternative is the Eucerin sunscreen, which I'll only be using once my Derm Opal is finished. 
so i took this video after completing my morning skincare routine and this is what my skin is looking like it's not perfect but it's definitely way better than what it was i still have some blemishes but i'm honestly very satisfied with the progress i hope you guys will lean towards seeking professional help as well i know it's a bit pricey but it's worth it at the end of the day thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye